So one of the perks with being an independent toy maker is folks like to send me toys. And uh, free toys are always the best toys. Sometimes these are going to be handmade customs, and sometimes they're actual production toys from toy companies, toys that you'd be able to go right now to the stores and pick up off the shelf. Recently, I received a collection of snap ships, and I've seen these on the shelves. I hadn't picked them up yet, and I'm ex immensely glad that they had sent these to me. Uh, these are a building system, somewhat similar to Lego, uh, but these are going to be put together using blocks, little square cubes, and they interlock. And with these, that you can assemble them uh, like they're shown on the package, or you can assemble them in several different ways. So if you get multiple sets, you can take the exact same parts and make two, three, four different vehicles out of these, or just come up with something on your own. Now I'm going to show you what comes in one of the Snap Ships sets. This is one of the larger sets. This is the Gladius, the good guy dropship. And the packaging on this thing is ingenious because I believe each one of the sets, you're going to pop off the lid and you're going to want to save that. That's going to come later. And then you're going to slide it open. And it's going to come with cool little poster on one side and then your checklist of all the different ships that are available um, and you have you know little fighters you're going to have a tank uh, bad guy drop ships uh, troop carrier that kind of thing and uh, you can just check off uh, each one as you collect them and we're going to throw that over there and then you're going to have the instruction manual and it's got a bunch of steps but it's not nearly as um filled is, is what a, uh, a Lego set would be. It goes together a bit easier than that. Um, you're going to have part of the hull over here. And then you're going to have your different bag of parts. Um, each one's labeled A, B, and C for this particular one. And then the cool thing is, is that it does actually come, this set comes with um, some action figures. They're very, very tiny, but uh, there they are. And I'll get to that in a little bit. And one cool thing about these sets is that uh, part of the, the background storyline with it is I guess the good guys and the bad guys are both competing over um, some alien tech that's within this universe. So each set is going to have this little uh, mystery pack-in that you're going to have right here. And you pop into the, one of those, and I guess you don't know which one you're going to get, but once you rip into it, you are going to discover that you have this cool little uh, laser minigun uh, and it's got kind of some sculpted alien tech details on it and uh, this is an optional piece so once you put these things together uh, you don't have to include this you can kind of have it in a place an area where they acquire it and maybe the bad guys steal it or whatever the case may be but um, it's pretty cool it does spin and it does have a firing ability you know to it so you can uh, launch those however you like. So once you rip into the bags, there's all your parts. And basically the whole um, main assembly process of these is, is these blocks right here, these cubes. And these are what's going to just snap together. And um, you just read the instructions. Each page is basically just a couple pieces that you're going to snap together. And uh, you, when you assemble it, you're going to have the finished ship. And like I mentioned before, you have several uh, various scenarios of being able to assemble these things. Um, this particular one has uh, one particular build, but then you have something like uh, this one, the Sabre. And it's got three builds that are in the instructions that you can do it. And, um, and then nothing's holding you back from being able to assemble it however you want to. If you want to come up with some new uh, scenario um, with the way that these are going to be arranged, um, you just go for it. So after you spend a few minutes putting it together, here is the dropship. And it is a functional dropship where you just push this button here and then the rover drops down and it does its damage, has a, a little three-barreled gun right here in the front. It's got a uh, opening cockpit. The ship also has a cockpit. You can pop that little tiny figure inside of it. And uh, they do have shooting missiles. That's pretty cool. 
easy to lose those. And uh, it has um, movable turrets on it, cannons, back here in the back, right here. And one thing I was surprised about it, with as many little parts and pieces as, um, as it takes to put these together, um, you don't really notice the building blocks. It's not like Lego where you had the little nibs all over it. Uh, the, these are fairly hidden. Um, so it actually does look like a ship, um, like it's not been pieced together. And uh, I was surprised by how sturdy it was. Most toys, when I get them, I uh, especially spaceships and figures, uh, I always do a shake test with these things to kind of see how well they're, they're put together. And even with me, with me holding it in the back, it's not falling apart. It doesn't feel rattly. And, um, and it's got some heft to it. These things, these little cubes, um, they're pretty sturdy and stout, you know, so it's not hollow feeling. Um, but I like it. And even though I'm mostly a three and three quarter inch uh, collector, um, these toys, uh, I could totally see using them as, as a drone of some sort. So even though the scale of these things is so incredibly tiny um, with, with the figures, um, I could definitely see being able to use these with other scales, you know, for it. But uh, I was impressed with it. I, I really am. I like them. It brought back a lot of memories of um, robotics, uh, the, the, the aggressive detailing and styling of the, of the, uh, the, the ships. It almost reminds me of Air Raiders. Uh, I loved Air Raiders as a kid. And uh, the forward swept wings and, and the, just the aggressive stance of them. Um, that's one thing that came to mind when I was uh, putting these together. But getting back to the lid of the box, which is, uh, you know, this piece here, all you got to do is take it, these extra pieces that come with it, pop those in place like that, then take your ship, mount it onto the pegs, and then you're going to have this cool display stand for it. So yeah, I'm, I'm totally digging these things. And one great thing about the toy line that I noticed was that even if you were to get them and you didn't necessarily um, want to get it just for the ship design or something, you could take these parts off. And these things are, it's a treasure of just little greebly bits that you could use on other scales. If you were customizing a ship, a speeder bike, uh, something like that, all of these parts do come off. These cannons are, are incredible, the detail on them. And the great thing about them, especially when you're customizing ships, is sometimes it's hard if you're pulling parts from G.I. Joe, from Star Wars, from whatever you know other toy line that there is. A lot of times those parts you need to really modify, especially cannons, missiles, uh, rocket launchers, whatever it is. They only mount to those particular ships. These things, they've got a flat base to them, even though they do have the little knob that does fit into the, uh, the, the cube system that these things are built with. You could easily shave these off and super glue them, uh, the flat portion of it, you know, to the, um, the the flat surface of the ship. So I see being able to. I would have bought these things just for the parts alone, because of the 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 thrusters that they they come with. Um, the the detail is, is impressive on it, and um, and I love that you can you can pop it off and pop you know, a new part somewhere else on it. So you could totally pirate these things out, um, take the bad guy ships, mix them with the good guy ships, and you've got these different tones and it's, uh, it's great. I love it. So back to the little action figures that it does come with. Like I said, they're tiny. And um, this one comes with a male and female figure and they're itty bitty. But the cool thing about them is that they do actually have articulation. As tiny as they are, you can put them in a seated position and they're ball jointed. So you can actually turn them left or right. So that's a cool little uh, add in. And uh, you can put the her right into there. And you can see the scale of it. Here is a three and three quarter inch stormtrooper. So that kind of gives you a bit of an idea of the scale difference. But... I could definitely see using this as some sort of, you know, drone attack fighter along with these guys. It would totally work. These could be, you know, 
uh, remotely operated and um, the Empire has to take them down or the rebels get them and they're attacked with them, whatever the case may be. I would still get these uh, and be able to use them with other scales. So uh, I love it. Like I said, the uh, the cannons can definitely work with these guys. And each set does come with a little tool like this uh, that allows you to be able to pop off the parts so you're not struggling. Take that off. And then here's that uh, alien tech piece that you can snap on that is optional. So they give you all sorts of different scenarios to be able to put these together and you can swap the parts around however you want. And um, I like it. I like them. And uh, they are pretty damn cool. And, you know, as, as tiny as the, uh, the cannons are, I mean, they're, they're, the plastic that they used is, is sturdy. It doesn't feel brittle like model plastic. It's got some flex to it, so it's not going to snap, at least not snap easily. And uh, I like just the ability of being able to um, you know, th throw them together in different ways. And uh, it's, it's very modular. And um, I like these little, these little shooters also, even though you can lose these uh, laser blasters, these, these bright green pieces. Um, they do give you a few extras, but yeah, they're just fun to, they're fun to shoot. So right now I'm putting together the rest of the ships that they had sent me. Uh, they did send me two of the Gladius ships, which is pretty cool because that way I can have one that's stock and another one that I can uh, arrange however I want to, kind of customize it a little bit. And I'll do that later. But I will go ahead and assemble the fleet, and um, then I'll get, be able to give you a group shot once I get uh, through all these little parts. So here is the completed batch of the Snap ships that was sent to me. And uh, like I mentioned before, I've got the, uh, the Gladius, uh, which I do have an extra one of that I'll be putting together. And it looks like we have the Saber Interceptor and the Locust uh, Stealth Craft and the Scarab Interceptor here. And then the Rover that does come with the, uh, the Gladius. But um, the designs are great. I, I like them. Like I said, even though it is a smaller scale, it reminds me a lot of um, uh, like a smaller version of robotics from the 80s. Uh, the styling reminds me of a bit of um, Air Raiders. I love that line. The Storiers was another one. Um, uh, these robots, and it had these little tiny uh, uh, pilots with them. And that's what kind of these reminded me of. So it brought back a lot of uh, memories of, as a kid putting together these, uh, these little tiny scaled uh, ships. But uh, I would definitely pick these up, um, if, if not only to use the parts and pieces from them, um, because it's it just multi-purpose. There's so many little applications that you could do with them. And, uh, and I can tell you one thing, when you're customizing, um, wings are a hard thing to salvage from other ships, uh, from, from other vehicles. Wings and fins are some of the hardest things. You can make your own. Um, but having a base to mount it to on other vehicles. And these do have um, these cool little flat uh, base mount surfaces to them. So you could easily convert a, uh, a speeder bike, a fighter, something to add little uh, bits to the flat surfaces to kind of spruce them up a little bit. So th these are a treasure trove of, of as being greeblies, just being overall toys. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with them. So I'm, uh, I'm totally digging them. And uh, they are called Snapships.